I've been thinking about creating a memoir in a very different way. And on the one hand, somebody's pointed out to me that I am doing an autobiography with all these portraits I've been doing. I've done 400 portraits of people that I know in the Provincetown Art Colony. Um, but in terms of leaving a trail for uh, my son and my granddaughter to know uh, stories that will disappear when I die. And my way of thinking about doing that as, a part, as opposed to, or contrasted with the hard work you're doing writing your memoirs is to sit down in front of a movie camera and just start recording and eventually edit together in, in some kind of way. Uh, did you ever consider um, doing it as simply as that, recording your memoirs as simply as that, or did you have a, a, a bigger thought from the get-go of the uh, significance of what you were doing and therefore you wanted it in a form that anybody could access at any point in time? I could never do it that way. I could never do it that way because I had to peel layers and the only way to peel layers was to write and then dig and then rewrite and then dig and feel my own obstacles, feel my own defense mechanisms and break through them. And so if I were just to sit with a camera and talk, you'd be getting the surface. You'd be getting the surface story. Uh, and I would be able to hide I'd be able to hide a lot of who I am and what I went through. Um, I think the difficulty was to really access what felt like taboo to reveal and stuff that was pre-conscious, kind of on a borderline. And when I could start reaching for it, it showed its true face. Um, it was work. And I think in my case, in order to give you the full picture and the experience. Um, I had to do an archeological dig within myself and that wouldn't happen if I were just being filmed and I was talking. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Yeah. It's also not, not a, uh, filming is not, it, it doesn't come easily to me. It's not, I'm not comfortable with it. Whereas writing is something I saw all my life and it's something I do all the time. I write journals, I write letters. I wrote letters from the time I was a little girl. I saw my father write, um, et cetera. I write case histories. So I would think that it never even occurred to me to do it on film, not even conversations with myself. Even if you were comfortable with film, don't you feel your own defenses would be getting in the way of digging deeper? Um, it depends. I think that the, I, and I've read also that there, there's a kind of connection, a synapsis that happens when you write with your hand, not, not when you type, that, that has to do with the brain, with memory and your hand. And that, that's a whole, it, it, it's, it's like a holistic approach to memory and to writing, uh, and to memory and to um, recording your life, okay? I'm not sure that happens with, um, with a camera. Uh -huh. uh, so I do, I agree with you, Esther. I think, it ha I think that, you, that writing, you can dig deeper because you, have also, you also have time. My sensation with, with uh, filming is that there isn't very much time. Yes. It's immediate. That's Whereas it. writing is that you go into a space, uh, a personal space where there's no time, um, where you're lost in your thoughts, or you're lost in a blank, or you're lost in a difficulty, or you can't find the word, it doesn't matter, but you're lost in a space that's like no other space that I've ever experienced. I agree. And, you agree, right? And, and, and my feeling about, about filming is that it's immediate. Yeah. Um, but I'm, you know, I might be wrong. Yeah. I have a daughter who, by the way, is a, she's a, she's a, she's a filmmaker and uh, a cinematographer. She, she's, uh, 
she studied um, to be a, what are they called? Do, um, photography director. She's the photography director. And right now she's in Chile and she's, um, she's filming a, certain, a, a lot of events that are happening here. And uh, she finds it difficult to write, for example. And she's very good with her eye and she catches, she captures people's moods, people's emotions, uh, what's happening internally to someone through her camera, something I can't do. Um, 